How is it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video and today's video I've got for you is my foot champions team I've got a very nice team now. This is actually pre rewards This is the team that I'm going to be using in foot champions and unless I hit like something incredibly huge in rewards I can't see this team changing in any way whatsoever uh, This team will hopefully stay exactly the way it is for the foreseeable future so we'll see um as we get onto that so this is what the team is going to be looking like formation wise i'll take you through steps of the team show you guys who's in the team and show you guys the custom tactics of course at the end like i always do but before we get into this this video is actually sponsored and i will get into that in just a second so massive thank you of course to the foot competition app for sponsoring this video link in the description down below for you guys to check out the app let's roll it so let's talk about the app now the app has an in-app currency or coins. Now, the coins do translate into foot coins on either console. And their in-game currency or in-app currency is the same as FIFA's in-game currency. Kind of works really well together. They just merge quite well. Uh, but not only that, on the app, you can spin the wheel. It's one of my favorite features. If not, my favorite is the spin the wheel feature. Essentially, you can just keep spinning the wheel and you win more players. The players have a value of coins. So you can get really lucky and win like a, a high-rated player with a lot of coin value. Or you can potentially essentially get absolutely nothing of course it is all odds and it is all luck so you know it just kind of works on if, it, if today's your lucky day then it's your lucky day if it's not then it's not uh, they do host competitions in-house as well or in the app so you can use coins to register for competitions you can compete against other players and you can win even more coins from the competition and last but not least they have an in-house transfer market as well where you can buy players and you can actually raise your team rating based on the players you buy from the transfer market using coins so it works really, really well. Their currency is quite uh, fluid. It works with a lot of different things. So I thought it'd be a really cool app to bring you guys. Now, without further ado, let's actually jump into the app and test a few features. Right, I am on the app now and we're going to go ahead and open up the app. It might ask me to log in. You do have to create an account. I already have created an account, but let's log in. And I do have, or I should have 50,000 coins on my account. So... We're going to go ahead and press the login button. We are logged in. There we go. So this is what my team currently looks like. Uh, it's not amazing, but we have 50,000 coins, as you can see, in the top. And we're going to go straight over in the bottom right to spin. Now, spin, in my opinion, is the best feature on the app. It's my favorite feature is the spin feature. Um, you have to, of course... Uh, confirm that you are over the age of 18 otherwise it's gambling essentially and you're not allowed to gamble under the age of 18 so uh 15 000 coins to spin the wheel let's go ahead and spin it and see what we can go ahead and get ourselves come on something good something good something good please please something good it's gonna be varan 86 varan oh wow that's actually really really good that's really really good that's fantastic actually there we go 86 varan i'm very happy about that now, I'm going to go ahead and place him in the team. He has a value on the app of 20,000 coins. So, we've made 5,000 coins. It doesn't work directly like the value on FIFA. Of course, on FIFA, he's like 250k, whereas in the app, he's 20,000 coins. But I'm going to go ahead. Do I want to sell him or do I want to place him? I'm going to sell Varan. I'm going to go ahead and sell him for 19,600 coins, and we're up to 54k. I want to go ahead and I want to spin the wheel again. So, let's go ahead and spin the wheel again. I do like this. I, I, I'm a big fan of this. This is my favorite feature that's been the wheel feature. Uh, I love this kind of thing with, with, with different apps. So let's see if we can get anything better than Varan. Oh, this ain't good. This is not this is not very good at all, actually. That that's a pretty poor. That that that's a pretty pretty uh that's a pretty poor. Yeah, 10,000 coins there. That that's not great. We've gone ahead and lost we've lost 5,200 coins. However, we're still at a decent coin value. You're probably wondering how on earth do you buy coins? So in the bottom left is a buy coins feature. And you get a bunch of different price options. Now, I always usually go with a spin, 15,000 coins. Uh, £3.99 for a spin. In my opinion, it's worth it. I think that's a pretty decent, you know, it's just, it's the thrill of it. Maybe I'm a gambling addict. I don't even know. Um, but there, one spin is 15,000 coins or £3.99. Now, you do get free coins for watching videos. Now, they're essentially just ads. So, if you were to want free coins, you can go ahead and just watch this video right here. Uh, it's a Game of Thrones Conquest ad. Um, and if you watch the full 20 seconds of it, they gave you 50 free coins. Of course, that's not a lot of coins. We, we can't deny it's not a lot, but it's a bit for free. You're never going to get anything for nothing in, in this world. So if you're willing to watch a bunch of videos, you can just get free coins and build up your coin balance. We'll go ahead and X off this now and we get ourselves 50 free coins there. A cool little, uh, cool little add on there to show is that we've got 50 free coins, which is pretty dope. So this is the Footcom uh, transfer market. Now you can go on Footcom 
uh, at players. You can go essentially, you can search for player's name. They're essentially, it's like FIFA. I know I keep saying essentially, but it's like FIFA. We can go for attacker. We can go for a minimum price of 5,500. We can go for a minimum rating of 80. Let's say 84. We can go for a maximum price of 12,500. And let's go for a maximum rating of uh 86 i think 86 is pretty cool let's go ahead and search for that and see what we can get as we see we have an informiago aspas for 10k we have rodrigo for 10k inform zarate for 10k inform arnautovic for 10k gonna go ahead and buy inform arnautovic there buy and place in team you're going to buy it on Nautovic. we go ahead and click ok and then we've just bought our Nautovic, and then he will be in our team if we can actually swap out our player here for our Nautovic. uh select player to squad there you go so now Nautovic is our left striker it works pretty much like that and it's really cool i like the idea of an in-app transfer market and it's just something different really it's different to all the other apps now if you want to transfer your coins from let's say the app to your playstation uh the way you go ahead and do it is you want to go and buy from the foot transfer market and once you're in here find a player that you know you have on your console this is quintessential because it's a player that you're going to have to list up so i know i've got a perrin on my console and i'm going to go for a price of 7500 to 8000 coins if you want to if you think that you're worried about uh you know it being a different play you know it can come up obviously there's a french center back called perrin i will put 84 to 84 and i will click on search and as you see perrin comes up now what you want to do is you want to click on him to find out what you're going to be listing him up for as you see the bid price should be 4500 coins and 7800 coins by now so then we're going to go over to my console right now as you guys will see we'll go to my console and we'll go over to the transfer market and as you'll see in just a second i have a pairing in the transfer list ready to be listed so we're going to go with 4500 coins with a 7800 coin by now we're going to go ahead and put it up for one day and boom he is now listed for one day once you have done that you want to come straight back over to the app and you want to click place order for foot transfer you're going to click ok and there it is the order has been placed for 7800 coins by now 4,500 coins start and they will then go within around an hour usually uh, it takes up to 24 hours sometimes but usually it's within about an hour sometimes less they'll go ahead and buy your pair in or whichever card you list up and boom just like that Perrin has as you can see sold it took I think like 14 minutes which is rapid quick if you ask me go ahead and clear that and we've got the coins from the app to our console it's as easy as that uh, but I do want to throw this out there before we go any further that it is uh, against EA's terms of service to transfer coins between accounts as we all know so there is a risk of getting banned uh, whether or not you use any different methods there's no real safe method so I wanted to quickly put that risk to you guys um, if you don't want to risk getting banned and you don't want to get the coins from this to your PlayStation or Xbox don't use this uh section because it can possibly get you banned i do have to disclose that because it is a it is something that i do want to disclose i don't want to you know trick anyone or make anyone uh you know believe something that isn't true maybe i'm not entirely sure just want to be completely transparent with that so yeah now another really cool part of this app is the competitions now let's go for a normal state competition to join this competition you can go for 1500 coins and possibly win at 5700 coins so as you see we have then gone and entered it and you will see your competition come up on the app it will come up in the your competition section and you get to follow each game it will go with your team against other teams and potentially win 5700 coins which i think is really really cool uh it's something that is completely different completely new it's not like something i've seen before and that's why i wanted to make a video on this app because uh it, it's just something i've not really seen before it, it's a lot different to the other apps that i've made videos on and it's really cool but of course, I'm addicted, so I'm going straight back to the wheel spin because I just think this is so much fun. I'm, I'm, I'm super addicted to it. I don't know why. I just think it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a couple more wheel spins. Uh, I'm really enjoying the wheel spins right now. Now it was we get Adrian Silver. It was so close to Gundawan as well. That's that's disappointing. Damn it. I really wish that would have been Gundawan. But uh, wait, what? 50,000 coins? 50k? Okay. I'll take it. Um... He's worth 50k. I did. I had no idea. I, I had no idea. I'm still figuring out um, the value of some players on this app. So that one that one shocked me a little bit. 50,000 coins. Holy crap. Okay, so we've just won 50k from Adrian Silver there. Come on, let's get a good player. Who's this? This guy's probably not worth a lot. Maybe he is. Maybe it's an inform. Maybe that's an inform, Adrian Silver. I'm not entirely sure. Who is this? What's he worth? 
19k. We've just made a lot of profit, to be fair. Okay, we're making profit after profit. Let's go ahead and do this again. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel again. What are we going to get? Come on. Come on. Be something good. I keep wanting to say EA. Yeah. I, 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 I want to say, like, come on, EA. Yeah, give me something good because I'm just used to saying that. Oh, Coutinho, 88 rated. This could be good. This could be really good. What is, what's the value? 30k. Not bad. We'll take that. That's decent. Not even as much as Agent Silver, though. And we're up to 90,000 coins. We're making some serious profit right now. This is a lot of fun. I think that the foot, the, the the spin the wheel aspect is honestly a lot of fun. I'm just I'm just a big fan of it. I am. I'm a big fan. Come on, what we're we gonna get from this one? Be something good. It's gonna be oh daily blind. Not as great actually. Not as great. But you know you never know. It could be a surprise one. Could have a good value. 10k. Yeah, we've lost we've lost 5200 coins there. However, we've made so many coins that I don't mind losing a little bit of coins. There we go. So I wonder if we can can we can we press anything does it like skip it it doesn't okay that's, that's that's cool you have to watch the animation i like that i like watching the animation to be fair what's it gonna be it's gonna be ooh, coke 86 this is the scream one right i think this is scream coke as well what's the value on this it is 17k thought it might be more than that but we make at least 1600 coins profit so it's not bad all right last one last wheel spin for this last wheel spin come on give us give us an icon Give us, give us something decent. Give us a Ronaldo. Imagine. Imagine. What's it going to be? It's going to be... Vass or Wass. I have no idea how to say this guy's name properly. I'm guessing he's Voss or Vass. It's going to be... How much is he worth? 10k. Okay, we made a loss. So, we're up actually to 81,000 coins. And we were on like 39k previously. So, we made some decent profit there. Essentially, to summarize, though, uh, it, it's a really cool app with a lot of decent features. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the spin the wheel. I, I'm just a little bit of a, a little bit of a gambling addict or something. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I'm a big fan of the spin the wheel feature. The competitions is really really cool as well, um, and I do like the idea of of being able to transfer coins easily between the app and the PlayStation slash Xbox. Like I said, disclaimer with that, you know, there is, of course, risks involved in any kind of aspect of transferring coins between uh, consoles or accounts or anything like that. So just bear that in mind when you do play the app and uh, and bet responsibly, you know, just be responsible on the app. Don't be like me. I'll bet all my coins away completely. So just be a bit more responsible. But uh, you can find the app in the link in the description down below and you can also find clear instructions on how to do everything in the app if you are not as um, informed with this video you're not as as uh, clear with this video you can find all that down below uh, massive thank you again to footcom or the foot competition app for sponsoring this video really appreciate it like i said link down below and I, uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Massive thank you to you guys, of course, for allowing me to be in the position to actually get sponsored videos and get the opportunity to do sponsored videos. It just helps me do this full time and I'm very grateful to you guys. So let's actually jump into the squad. So in goal, we have got Handanovic. I've been really enjoying Handanovic. I've been really enjoying Handanovic recently. I've been using Al uh, Alison. Al Alison for pretty much most of the game. He's got like 200 games on this account for me. But I switched over to Handanovic and I've really been thoroughly enjoying this card. Uh, I do like this card a lot. So over at right back, we have got Florenzi. Now, Florenzi's decent for me, but I've been thinking about swapping in for maybe a, a Cancelo. Um, he's got 90 stamina, which is fantastic. But he hasn't got... Excuse me. What the hell? That was like a hiccupy... I don't even know what that was. I was like, that was... I thought, I thought that was a hiccup. I don't know. Um... Uh, can, uh, Cancelo. Uh, Florenzi got decent uh, stamina and jumping, but not the greatest of strength, whereas uh, Cancelo's got better strength, uh, decent stamina, and uh, they both have four-star skills, which is great. Uh, Florenzi's got better uh, push-forward stats as well. He's got really good agility and balance, decent ball control. Uh, his reactions are a little bit low, but they're decent. Um, and then, of course, to link up with him over at the right centre-back, we've actually got Costas Manolas, the red inform version of him. Fantastic card. Incredible in the game. Really, really like this card. He is phenomenal. We had a little bit more stamina, but then again, center backs just lacking stamina. He is absolutely fantastic, though. Thoroughly enjoy using this card, and I'm very lucky to have packed him. Over at the left center back spot, we have actually got Medi Benatia, um, who is also fantastic. He's got 93 in game strength, 85 jumping. He is six foot two with medium high work rates. He's got fantastic defending stats, half decent dribbling stats as well, with 82 reactions and 82 composure. Um, and then over at left back, we have got undoubtedly 
the, the best left back in the game without a shadow of a doubt it is Alexandro. This guy is an absolute beast. 92 in-game stamina, 82 aggression, 79 jumping with 79 strength. Very, very good all-round stats as well. Uh, he's only 5'11", but he's definitely very good. He, he wins a lot of headers. He feels really strong, and I'm thoroughly enjoying him so far. Now it's CDM. We've actually got Pjanic. Now, you're probably very interested as, as to why I'm using Pjanic. I'll get into that in just a second as to why I'm using Pjanic. Um, but he's a decent card. He does need to be subbed off. I have Allen over here, and I've got Koke on the bench right now. Um, that both of them are decent centre mids. So I do sub him off usually around the 78th minute uh, for one of those two. Now over at the left centre mid role, we have actually got uh, Vidal, who is also very, very good in this game. Do not be discouraged by the 57 pace because he is phenomenal. He's not that slow at all. He doesn't even feel 57 pace. He feels really quick in the game and I do thoroughly enjoy this card. He's got incredible physical defending, decent dribbling, um, and he's just all around a very, very solid centre mid on this game. Now over at the right centre mid spot, we've actually got Blaze Matweedy. Uh, Blaze Matweedy, of course, has 94 stamina, 76 strength, 86 uh, aggression, and 84 jumping. Fantastic stats. Uh, he's got high, high work rates as well. Left footed, really, really, really well all round card uh, and works really, really well. Now at Cam, we've got another fantastic left footer and he's actually Lionel Messi, surprisingly. Eight games, nine goals, three assists. This guy is absolutely phenomenal. Definitely worth 850k I paid for him. He's incredible. He's fantastic in this game. Now, his stamina lets him down quite a lot. Only 72 and it's disappointing. Uh, however, apart from that, everything else is absolutely brilliant in this game. He's phenomenal. Uh, and the two strikers, actually, on the left, we have got uh, Luis Suarez, linking, of course, to Messi and Vidal. Fantastic card in this game. He just doesn't stop. He's everywhere all the time. He's really, really strong. He's got eight goals, uh, sorry, eight games, uh, six goals and eight assists in uh, eight games is fantastic. Um, and he's just absolutely phenomenal. This guy is genuinely one of the best strikers in the entire game. And he's partnered with another one of the best strikers in the entire game. And it is Antoine Griezmann, another fantastic player. 10 goal contributions in eight games from right striker. 90 jumping and 81 stamina just shoots out to me. 92 finishing. His finesse shots are unbelievable. Now, in game, this is what it looks like. I only changed to the 4 1 2 1 2 defensive. Uh, and this is what the team sort of lays out as is Blaise Matuidi at CDM with Vidal and Pjanic as the centre mids and Messi. Obviously, nothing else really changes actually, apart from uh, Blaise Matuidi slots in at CDM. And it works incredibly well. Thoroughly enjoy this. Uh, thoroughly enjoy this squad. It's absolutely amazing. It's brilliant, uh, and it's one of my favourite squads that I've used so far. This game is expensive. It's like 1.5, maybe uh, 1.7 million coins around there on PlayStation, but it's definitely worth the coins. So if you enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Go check out the Foot Competition app in the uh, description down below as well. It'll be at the top line. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you lads later.